guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. Well, you know, when we come out of the whole winter time, right, we get into spring, we get into summer, uh, you're gonna have a changeover as far as from winter gas to summer gas. So it's really best as far as once you get to that end of May, first of June, you know, get out all that old winter fuel that you have in there. Past June 1st, that's when all the gas retailer stations start supplying with all the summer fuel. They start transitioning out from the winter fuel. So your BMW can be a little quirky as far as how it's running. It's trying to adjust the air to fuel ratio mixture. Obviously the summer gas is gonna have a better octane than the winter gas. It's gonna kind of run not the greatest in a way upon like of a cold start. Right out of the gate, we're gonna do a full reset adaptions via the JB4. Now you can use a BMW scan tool to do this as well, but I'll show you just how easy it is on JB4. It's menu one slash seven, and you can also do this on MHD. With the accessory on, you're gonna take volume down button, channel down button at the exact same time. So you're gonna be going into your JB4 menu when you see both colors like that. You can see I'm on map one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to one. So that's zero, one, two, three. So we're gonna go to one. We're gonna use the up arrow button over here for the channel. We're gonna go to seven, so one, seven. Then we're gonna go all the way out to exit out. And turn off the key and wait for a minute. Once it's all ready to go, take your key. Pop it in. And then go ahead and start your car. Let it run for a little bit because it's going to start learning everything. So you're going to want to let it just idle through. And so it can take its new readings of as far as AFRs, cooling, everything. There you go. Nice smooth idle at 600 RPMs, right where it needs to be at. Now let's be honest, a reset adaption isn't always going to fix your problems. Now you have a lot of things that contribute to a rough idle in general on a BMW. First right out of the gate, you'll be surprised how bad your injectors go and how easy they are to do that. Here I'm changing out all six of mine because I had issues like you wouldn't believe as far as idle goes. It is a quick and easy process to do. I have the DIY on my channel so that way you guys can check that out if you need to know how to do that. Another big one with the idle is the O2 sensors. Now your primary O2s right in the, your downpipes, this controls all your fueling as far as your AFRs go. Now they communicate with your DME, which then adjusts certain things as far as your injectors. It's very crucial as far as at that 100,000 mile mark that you just go ahead and replace those primary O2s. If you have any kind of O2 related issues as far as codes go, replace those as soon as possible. It is an easy DIY as you can see here. If you need to check that out, out, please do so now the biggest thing as far as a rough idle goes usually is always your coils and or your spark plugs now if you're tuned an n54 and n55 you need to do that as far as every 15,000 miles so that's what i do as far as the plugs go uh, it's very recommended of course if you have a tune but you know plugs go a long way and coils go a long way as far as how your bmw n54 or even n55 operate on a day-to-day -day basis more boost different timing different part of the tune, you know, they go through a lot, especially just trying to get to the power that you want to get to. It's an easy, cheap replacement to do and to keep up on as far as maintenance goes and long-term drivability. So that way you do have that great ownership of your BMW. Next to do it via MHD, just get your Android device, go to the MHD app, click on codes, and then click on the reset adaptions button. Uh, once that loads up, you can see all the different adaptions that you can do on your car and then therefore you can go ahead and proceed to the next step well guys there you have it the much needed uh, quick little uh, reset adaption on your bmw 335i n54 even n55 very easy as you can see with the jb4 just go into the menus one and seven uh, let it run for just a few minutes after that so that way it can slowly learn its new adaptions as far as afrs fueling everything else like that then you can just go ahead and shut it off or just go ahead for a drive, whichever. I let, every time I do that, every season, I like to just let it run for, for a few minutes so that way it can catch everything up, 
because you're clearing out all those existing values that you had. Uh, usually it will smooth out the idle and everything else like that because it gets stuck on, let's say, if you've been driving a lot in the winter and you've had winter fuel, and then you're slowly making the transition to summer fuel or you're doing E85 mixes, whatever be the case, it's always nice to have a nice little fresh reset throughout the different season chain. So please be sure to subscribe, like, and then comment below. Take care.